Hey Pixels, in this video, I'll show you how to design a cute game app login screen in Adobe XD. If you haven't already, be sure to watch part one of this series before starting this tutorial. First, select the entire artboard we designed in part one. Press Command or Control D to duplicate the artboard. We're going to delete the app's title, bubble tea character, and a few of the circles or bubbles until we have one large bubble, three medium-sized bubbles, and one small bubble. Arrange the bubbles near the top of the artboard. Press Command or Control G to group the bubbles and then press number 5 on your keyboard to lower their opacity to 50%. To add a friendly welcome message to this login screen UI, hit T on your keyboard to grab the text tool and draw out a text box that's flush with the layout grid. We're going to write, Welcome back, sign in to resume playing. I'm using a Google font called PT Sans 24 pixels. Make sure that the text Welcome Back is bold and the rest of the text is regular. The last step for this login screen UI is to design the username and password fields. On your keyboard, press L to grab the line tool and draw two white lines that are two pixels thick. Space them out so that we can add text above each line. Hit T on your keyboard to grab the text tool and write username above the first line and password above the second line. We want to signal to users that by default, the username field is active and the password field is not. So we're going to select the password field and hit number five on our keyboard to lower its opacity to 50%. Lastly, update the button text so that it reads login. That's how you design the login screen for this cute game app UI. The last thing we need to do is turn our app into an interactive prototype. To give our app some life, we're going to go into prototype mode in XD. Select the Get Started button on the first artboard and drag the connecting arrow to the second artboard. We'll change the transition to push left and set the duration to 0.2 seconds. Now click the desktop preview button to see the prototype in action. You've completed the series. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to subscribe to ExoPixel for more design, code, and tech videos. I'll see you soon in the next video.